Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat. So, a fellow YouTuber who I've actually interacted with a bit over the years made a video recently about GTA 5. This YouTuber is Swegta, who made a video titled Transphobia in GTA 5. First things first, I have nothing against Swegta. Like I said, I've talked to him a few times, and he's a really cool individual. He also makes really good videos. But, I think he makes a lot of silly points in this video, and I really don't agree with it. I'm not making this video to expose Swagta, and I definitely don't want anyone going from this video over to his and talking shit. I'm just voicing my opinions on his video with a little banter, as the cool kids would call it. Without further a shit, let's dive into the video. I know this is going to be a highly divisive video for my audience, because like many people on YouTube, like many content creators on here, um, I have an audience that spans all across the political spectrum, and that being the case, I know a lot of you saw the title of this video, clicked on it, and now you're just kind of like, the f politics and my video games re right off the bat painting anyone who is going to inevitably disagree with this video as reing is not a good start from what i've seen in your comments section most people have reasonable counterpoints to your video also it's really not an issue of keeping politics out of video games because as you go on to say even though we're talking about grand theft auto a highly political game which consists of social commentary left and right at like all times. GTA is constantly political and has a ton of social commentary, so it's reasonable to talk about politics when talking about GTA. It's a big part of the games. It's not reasonable though to paint the game as transphobic. We'll get into that. Initially this video was going to consist of me comparing LGBTQ plus representation in games by Rockstar way back then versus now. You know, just to kind of like highlight how it's it's maturing and it's actually getting better and better. I don't mean better in the sense that, you know, there, there's like less, you know, crude jokes. I mean better in the sense that there's depth to a lot of the characters now. Honestly, that would have been a pretty interesting video and probably a better one. I'm not saying you can't criticize GTA 5. I think that game sucks asshole compared to the rest of the series. Unpopular opinion, I know. But the criticism here is oof. They're not just like limp-wristed, horny gay guys who are just like, hi. I mean, like that occasionally pops up in, you know, like the Ballad of Gay Tony. But even a character like Gay Tony has a bit more to him than being a walking punchline. I agree. Gay Tony's character wasn't really focused on the fact that he was gay. Sure, they made jokes about it and he was a bit stereotyped, but he wasn't a walking punchline. This is because he was a big character in that game. If he was a minor, less important character, Rockstar probably would have gone all in and just made him a complete stereotype. It's GTA. That's just the humor they have, as you know. I wish I could say the same for trans people in GTA 5, but upon doing research for this video, I found that there's really no good representation at all. It's all bad. And I mean, it's all bad. All of it. Every single even reference to trans people amounts to little more than like, ha ha ha, man in dress. Well, no group of people that GTA makes fun of is really shown positively. It's usually all negative stereotypes and really easy bottom of the barrel jokes about them. This goes for all races and groups of people. GTA really doesn't care who it makes fun of. Hello, sir, er, I mean, madam, er, whatever. That's an actual line by Michael DeSanta, by the way. Fun fact, at least two of the three main protagonists in GTA 5 intentionally misgender transgender pedestrians. Yeah, the protagonists in GTA aren't nice people. They're complete wieners to pretty much everyone. I mean, you can go around fat-shaming people as Trevor. Oh, come on! Where's your sense of humor? Did you eat it? My god, you're massive. I mean, you're the size of a house. Clearly, GTA 5 is fatphobic. That's a real term, by the way. I really wish I was joking. End me. And I assume that these pedestrians are trans because they're being misgendered, they're being called mid-op, they're being told to take more hormones. You know, it's kind of obvious what's being implied there. Hello, sir. I mean, madam. I mean, whatever. Well, hello, mid-op. Hey, you need to keep taking your hormones. You might need a few more ops, dog. Almost fool me, bro, 
Almost! I actually don't think these characters are necessarily meant to be transgender. I think they're just men dressed in drag. The director mode for GTA V, where you can select different NPCs to run around as, even calls them drag queens. And they're under the male category. A lot of them have chest hair and their big old balls showing. Which is suggesting that they're men dressed in drag. Drag queens aren't necessarily always transgender. I mean, they could be transgender, I guess, and maybe Rockstar was making fun of both groups at once. You also have stuff like a casual tea slur being used in the game in one of the ads, like, hey, this tea slur is watching you take a sh**. Ka ka poo poo pee pee, tea slur, ha ha. Yeah, it doesn't shock me that Rockstar threw a joke like that in there. They throw all kinds of jokes at all kinds of people. I'm wondering why you're specifically upset about the transgender and drag jokes. Yeah, th they're offensive, but that's the point. The thing that upset me is not just the fact that they made fun of trans people, because I mean, like, you know, Rockstar is an equal offender. They make fun of all aspects of our culture and social life. Well, slap my titties and call me a Pac-Man enthusiast. He said it. Yeah, they do make fun of pretty much everyone. So I'm still wondering when you're going to explain why GTA V is transphobic and not every other phobic and ist in the world. Either it's okay to make fun of everybody, or it's not okay to make fun of anyone. It's a little silly to handpick which groups of people are okay to make fun of, and which are off limits. So really, it should be fair game, right? You know, that, that should be the case. They make fun of all of us. You know, I'm an atheist, they made fun of atheism, I didn't get on camera and cry about it. Why not? They made fun of you. Did they ever show a positive side to atheists, or just make a joke about them at their expense? I'm starting to think GTA V is atheist-ist. Please leave a like on this video for that shitty joke to make me feel better about myself. Thanks, Pumpkin. Here's the thing that upset me, though. There's a character in GTA V called Peach, who's a stripper, who's a trans woman. Like, there's nothing wrong with being a stripper. I'm cool with strippers. I think they're neat. You know, if you're a stripper, you have my seal of approval. I mean, you don't need it. You know, f you care, but... Rest assured, Swagta thinks you're f***ing neat. You have no idea how much that means to me, Swagta. <laughs> Thank you. The reason I find this to be a harmful stereotype is because oftentimes people associate trans women with being, you know, like, scantily clad sexual deviants who, you know, engage in, like, sex work for a living. You know what I find a harmful stereotype? That all southern people are racist, beer-drinking, yee-haw and rednecks who pile-drive their cousins. I'm a southern boy myself. Well, guess what? My culture has been absolutely positively fisted by Rockstar. In GTA V, there are so many redneck stereotypes on display. You've got this bitch assuming everyone speaking a different language is speaking Spanish. You speak Spanish, speak it to each other! That's a classic one. You have the O'Neill brothers, all 14 of them, where it's implied incest took place. You have an entire side mission with Trevor where this yeehaw, and ironically a Russian immigrant, have you hunt down a mariachi band because they think they're illegal immigrants. Cletus, another side mission character, is literally a southern hick stereotype and nothing else. That's his character. No deep backstory, just a hee-haw. Why is it that you only have a problem with them having a transgender woman be a stripper? Because that is stereotypical. The whole game is full of stereotypes, so why is this one the only harmful and actually offensive one to you? Like, imagine if you're playing GTA 6 and every single black person in the game is nothing more but like a 1930s walking stereotype punchline. Like, at some point, you would question like, hey, what's up with this? This is kind of f***ed up, why would they do this? But if you do it with a really small percentage of the population, which is already struggling to attain civil rights, Nobody bats an eye. No one bats an eye because it's goddamn GTA and they clown on everyone. It kinda comes with the territory. It's like it's almost written on the back of the box. We'll get offended. Okay, so Swagta goes on to talk about how no one else has really talked about this issue except him other than a few articles. Then repeats the point that trans characters are just used as a punchline in this game. Then he goes on to say 
this. And the consequence of this is that Rockstar appeals to a lot of people who actually are transphobic, who actually are homophobic. What? This is literally the same argument people in the media make saying Rockstar appeals to people who actually want to murder people because you can go on rampages. Following this logic, Rockstar also appeals to people who are racist, sexist, xenophobic, all of that. Because Rockstar makes jokes and stereotypes on everything. If you exist, some aspect of you as a person has probably been made fun of in a GTA game. So I don't understand laser focusing on the trans joke specifically and saying, yeah, this is the one that's really bad. Either it's all allowed or it's all off limits. You have to pick one. They are wearing crop tops, high heels, leopard, whatever you want to cheetah print. Basically anything a man should never wear. Hey honey, why don't you jump in my ride? I like the look of your shirt. It'll look better on my bedroom floor. This <laughs> <laughs> a f***ing man. I think that's a dude, either that or one of them tricks. Oh damn! That's what he gets for being such a f***ing ass bitch. There they are! <laughs> the tr wars we won <laughs> yeah the people in these clips are making edgy jokes do they actually think like that or are they just joking there's no way to know i know you're trying to paint this as rockstar enabling this kind of behavior but again that's the same logic as the media saying that rockstar's games enable people to be violent while showing gameplay in the background of someone beating up a hooker with a baseball bat like see we're right if you think i'm being unreasonable let me just emphasize I'm fine with Rockstar making fun of trans people, as long as, like, that's not the only type of representation they have in their games. Okay, name the cases of Rockstar giving positive representation to any of the people they make fun of. There's probably not many cases. I don't recall GTA V ever giving the Southerner depictions a positive spin. We're not just talking about characters walking around in goofy clothing, we're talking about main protagonists in your video game intentionally misgendering a trans person. <laughs> like, that's one of the most personal attacks you can engage in with a trans person. What a shocker. GTA goes out of its way to be offensive, and it's offensive. And the floor is made out of lava. And again, when you do shit like this, you're just appealing to people who actually are bigoted. It sucks. I know trans people, and I know that, like, some of them actually play Grand Theft Auto V. Some of them love the game. And I can only begin to imagine how it feels when, like, you come across sh like this, not just in the game, but in the community as well, and nobody says a f***ing thing about it. I have no doubt that they can handle it. If they can't, then GTA probably isn't the type of game for them, because it throws punches at and tries to offend everyone, like we've gone over. Southern people in my case, atheists in your case. Why do you assume that transgender people are these delicate little flowers or fine china that will break at the slightest touch? That can't handle a joke at their expense? And Swagta isn't the only person who does this. A lot of people do. And I don't get it. They don't need you or anyone else to protect them or get offended for them. Let them decide what's offensive and how to react to it on an individual basis. If you're going to assume that, for example, southern people can handle being joked about and stereotyped in a video game without melting, or that if they can't handle it, they can deal with it themselves without you needing to defend them, then why don't you treat transgender people the same way? It comes across like you think they need you to defend their feelings. It just seems patronizing and condescending to me. If you want to make fun of people, that's fine. Unless it's this group of people who I think need to be sheltered and protected, that is off limits and too far. But if you're just tossing around slurs and portraying these people as being nothing more than walking punchlines, and even going as far as to have main characters in your game engaged in personal attacks based on this characteristic, what are you saying? Did you know that in San Andreas, if you eat too often, the main character CJ would turn into Big Chungus, and he would talk about food all the time, make fat jokes, and his voice changed to sound like he had four extra chins. I'm big, but I ain't slow. Can I get a pizza over here? I'ma eat you, fool. Lunch money. 
What? Rockstar, what are you trying to say with this? You made CJ, the main character, become a walking punchline on fat people for the rest of the game if you become fat. That puts the nail in the coffin. GTA is fat phobic. Before someone says it, no, I'm not comparing being transgender to being overweight. I'm saying, if you're going to pull the argument that because the main character directly jokes towards a person's personal characteristics, that somehow makes it worse than the other jokes in satire, then you have to call out every instance of it and just say the games are all ists and phobes you can think of. Anyways, that's about everything I wanted to respond to in Swegta's video. I obviously don't agree with Swegta here. I don't think the game is any more transphobic than it is any other phobic or ist out there. And I feel like Swagta assumes, like a lot of people sadly do, that transgender people are delicate and can't handle a jab or two in a video game, and that it's more offensive to make fun of them than anyone else. Like they need special treatment and coddling. I disagree. Transgender people don't need anyone to protect them or their feelings. They can decide what is and isn't offensive to them, and if it is, then fair enough. That's valid. They don't have to play GTA if they believe it's too offensive. I just don't see the value in getting offended for other people though, and trying to white knight for them even though you can't possibly know how every person in that group feels about it. You know what I'm saying? I would understand Swagta's argument more if it seemed that GTA 5 went really hard at making fun of transgender people, and it seemed overdone, like they were specifically going after them more than other people, but that's just not the case at all. Anyways, like I said, Swagta is a DANK YouTuber, and if you see this Swagta, I still think you're a king. But not the Sacramento Kings, they suck ass. Yeah, I said it. Wah, wah, get over it. Your sports team sucks ass. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good one. A huge thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. You guys are the bee's knees. You should watch some of my other videos. Or I'll cry. Right here. Wait, you better click on one of these. I'm crying.